Okay, now uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to see exercise number four. And in this exercise, we're going to look at how to create member offsets. On the left-hand side of your screen, you should be able to see a general tab. Okay, and under general, you should see a specifications sub-tab. So general spec, if you click on it, on the right-hand side, you see a specifications dialog box. So what we'll click on on the right-hand side is click on the beam button. And on the right-hand side, this is called the data area. So in the manual, we refer to that as the data area on the right-hand side. Page 51, what we want to do is assign offsets, okay? So if you click on the offsets tab, here uh, we can provide start offset, okay? Well, we're, the start offset is going to be 0 0.0625 feet, okay? And if you click on add, what happens is that offset appears in the data area. Now, we're, we're going to repeat that step again, okay? And this time, this is for the start node of the beam. Uh, every beam has a start and an end uh, node, right? So we need to give two offsets. If you go to beam offsets, and this time what we'll do is we will give a Z offset of 0 0.0625. But remember, in this case, we need to assign it to the end, okay? So change this to the location to end. Click on add. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll select a few members in the graphics. Okay, first we'll select the start option. Now, anything that you assign instead is basically like a three-step process. Okay, so you basically, in this case, uh, the first step is to select uh, the, uh, the specification, okay, or, or property or support or even loading. The second task is to come to the graphics, okay, and, and select the members. Okay, in this case, we're going to choose all these uh, analytical uh, beam members in the model. Okay, you can zoom in further if you want, if it's too difficult for you to pick things. And uh, once you've uh, chosen those members, so that's, that's your second step. And the third step is to pick an assignment method, which is going to say, we're going to say it's assigned to selected beams, and click on the assign button, okay? So what it does is it basically provides that offset. I mean, this is the start offset that we assign. Now, to the same beams, we need to assign the end offsets. Click on assign, and you see what stat has done is it basically offsets those beams by a small distance along the global z-axis, okay? So it's not, these members are not directly I mean, are offset from the center line of these, you know, bracing members that you see, okay? Now, uh, what we'll do now is we will draw a, a new member. So we'll just say view um, whole structure, okay? And uh, what we'll do then is draw a new member using geometry menu, add beam, add beam from point to point, okay? And that new member is actually shown in your manual on page 43, figure number four. So all you need to do is basically draw a beam from that node to that node, okay? So again, we talked about this problem, right? When we draw members like this, we need to make sure that we have proper uh, connectivity. Now, in your manual, again, we, we show you why we're drawing two members there, okay? What we want is two tubes to basically represent, you know, the right-hand side of the deck, and there's going to be two more tubes on the other side of the deck, okay? And these two tube members are actually sandwiching the, you know, the bracing members, okay? We want to model a thing like that inside STAT, so, so that's what we're doing. What we'll do is first select the beam's cursor, okay? Now, uh, what we want to do is uh, select that beam, that, the beam that we just drew, okay? You can basically, I mean, if you select that beam, okay, it should highlight the whole span, okay? So once you select that member, okay, just... Click on select. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what we should have done is basically selected the uh, the uh, specifications. Okay, check this box. Like in step number 16, 
page 53, it tells you to highlight, check this box, highlight assigned geometry. Okay. And what you should do is basically click on any of these. Okay. So what it'll do is it'll basically assign, uh, you know, select those members to which these specifications have been assigned. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is go to select menu, by inverse, inverse beam selection. Okay. This is uh, on uh, in step number 18 what it does is it, it inverts your selection so we we had already selected something in the graphics now that those beams get unselected and the beams that were not selected gets uh get highlighted okay so now uh what we'll do is we'll just click on view menu view selected objects only so that's on page 54 step number 19 okay and you see that member is running from one side to the to another right so what we'll do is we'll just press control a select all these members and break that member at those selected node points okay so we'll just say uh you know there there you know there there's two commands okay we looked at geometry intersect selected members okay but now i'm going to show you another command and um, for that command to work, you'll, you have to use the geometry cursor, okay? So on the left hand side, we see nodes cursor, beams cursor, plates, surfaces, solids, and there's geometry cursor, right? So if you pick geometry cursor, select all the beams in the graphics, and then go to geometry menu, break beams at selected node points and what it says it created like 23 members and you can see that that member has been split into smaller pieces okay what we'll do is we better go in and, and assign offsets to those okay so on the right hand side click on the beam button okay so that's uh, step number 22 page 56 now click on the offset tab here we'll put in negative negative 0 0.0625 feet okay for the start node click on add and then we'll create another specification for the end node okay beam offset again negative 0 0.0625 and this is going to be for the end node and then click on add so we have two specifications now and those specifications have to be assigned to you know the new uh, beam members that we created so now what we'll do is we will pick these members and uh, on the left hand side click on the beams cursor again okay first of all uncheck this highlight assigned geometry on the right hand side Click on start. I mean the fourth spe third specification, which is start zero zero zero. Sorry, start zero zero negative zero point zero six two five. Click on assign. And then let's click on the other specification and click on assign. And you see there's something wrong with the specification, right? What we did was we put in the specification to the Y we should have put in for the Z, okay? So double click on the end specification and make sure that we supply a negative 0 0.0625 for the Z offset, not the Y offset. Okay, if you click on change, that problem will get get fixed. Okay. Okay. So um, once you've done that, click on View Menu Hold Structure. Step number 33. Okay. And what you should see if you zoom in is two members at the same, you know, basically same location, right? 